What's up, y'all? This is Felicia, and today's vlog is about red velvet cake. I finally made a red velvet cake from scratch, and that is something I have been wanting to do for literally for years, okay? One of the reasons why I wanted to make red velvet cake from scratch is because red velvet cake has a very specific flavor, and it's really, really good, and there's, I've never seen it like made any other way that it actually tastes like red velvet cake if you buy red velvet cake in the store if you make it from the box it always tastes like plain old chocolate cake with like a little red food coloring in it so you have to make it from scratch the reason why i have yet i didn't make one like right away is because red velvet cake is very complicated like it is unlike any other cake or any other thing I've ever made in my life. It has lots of ingredients. It has very specific ingredients. And the funny thing about red velvet cake is that it has like ingredients that you wouldn't necessarily expect in a cake like, you know, vinegar and buttermilk and you know, it's just it's just a lot. Like it's a lot that goes into the whole process of making red velvet cake, but it's the only way if you want it just right. You have to make it from scratch and you have to like follow the recipe and so there's um another reason why i wanted to make a red velvet cake is because that is actually one of my nicknames it's so funny um several years ago several years ago i met this beautiful young lady named avery and she's really sweet and i was just kind of looking at her life and just things that God had blessed her with. And I was, you know, I went up to her to, and it was so random because I don't, especially at that point in my life, I didn't really like talk to people like that. But I I, I went to get some advice because I was just like, girl, God is blessing. How, how, I, get, how I get blessed like that? <laughs> and so, um, in all honesty, that, that specific thing we were talking about, I was asking about was relationships. Um, but she gave me some advice that really applied to my whole life. And it wasn't just about just, you know, um, just, you know, relationships. You know, she was just telling me about, she was explaining how, um, you know, it's a process, you know, in life. And it's not just about what you get. It's about everything that you go through and different experiences that you have. And then she used the analogy of how, Red Velvet Cake has a lot of different ingredients and a lot of different steps that you have to take. And, you know, it's a process and it takes patience and it takes, you know, being very specific and just how God, as you move through your life, God adds different things that equips you to get the, the blessings that, you know, that you're asking for. Now, here's something you might not know about me. If God sent you to me with a word and you, you use food, then what you are telling me is extremely important and it is going to minister to my soul. Do you understand? I love food so much. I, I mean, and, and then it was cake. It was dessert. And so, I, you know, I always remembered that advice and it was really encouraging to me. And then she gave me the nickname Red Velvet. She was like, I'm going to call you Red Velvet. That's going to be your name now. And I have truly since then been on a journey you know, of like getting all of these ingredients in life. And God has just been working on me, child. He has been working on me. So I finally, finally um, made this cake. And I think it turned out pretty good. I hope you um, enjoy the video. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so red velvet cake is delicious. Um, don't um, ever in life, you know, Cake is one thing. If if the if you can't counterfeit or shortcut to a certain cake, then obviously in relationships and really um, anything that you want to do in life, any true purpose that God has called you to, um, any gift that God has given you to um, use, any ministry that He has um, you know chosen you for, d don't try to shortcut it. And try to make it happen right away or it's not going to be exactly right you're you want the real thing so you just have to go through the process get your ingredients put them together be patient in order to get the best results 
You know what I'm saying? Living your best life is not always about what make what feels good in the moment and and trying to just make do. Living your best life takes some time, it takes some energy, it takes some effort just like this cake did. This cake it wasn't like I, I made it harder in my mind than it was to make but at the same time, I had some mishaps and so I, I broke my blender. Uh, well, my mom's blender. <laughs> um, because like I had to, I didn't let the cream cheese get, you know, room temperature. Like I thought, well, it's warm enough and I'm going to zap it in the microwave for a couple of seconds. Trying to, once again, trying to shortcut. And it was like, nah, at the end of the day, it's not going to work until it gets to the right temperature and everything. So just take the you know the process is worth it in the end in the long run whatever you feel like you've lost in the process and all the things remember like get your lessons as you go through gain and enjoy the dessert dessert comes last because it's special and it's sweet so yeah and i'm gonna put a the the um what do you call it the recipe down below in the description and I want to thank you so much for watching and listening. Um, like and share. Please share. I'm always begging you to share. And there's like a couple of people that share. So share, 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 share. And comment if you would like. And let me know what you think and how I can improve my vlogs. Holla at y'all later. Bye. You're my ex oh, ex oh. You're my ex oh, ex oh. Falling in love with you, growing in love with you. You're my ex oh, ex oh. You're my ex oh, ex oh. You're my ex oh, ex oh. Falling in love with you, growing in love with you. Ex oh, ex oh. Sitting here wondering where and how to begin. Do a star with love and grace and how you are my closest friend It'll take a million years just to tell of all you've done So I'm writing this song just to sing love to your heart Let me count the things that I love you From the start to end you always you are red, 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 red. And every time I see your love I'm